Ooh, there's quite a few spiders in here. I think they're frozen, however. <laughs> I don't see anything. Could it be in the other culvert? Today, I got a treat in the mail. Who doesn't love a treat on a very cold, wintry day? Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a cash crate. If you don't know what a cash crate is, a cash crate is a monthly subscription box that comes straight to your door from cashadvance.com. They send you a little geocaching love. Inside this little box is a lot of geocaching awesomeness. And so you get to share in the joy with me today as I open this cash crate and find out what's in it. One of the questions that I get from you guys a lot is what's in your geocaching bag? And I've got a lot of stuff in my geocaching bag, but sometimes there's things that geocacher that I need that I don't even know I need, but Lisa and her team at Cache Events are geocachers and they know exactly what you need. So today let's unbox this box, see what's inside of it, and then let's go outside, let's go geocaching and actually use some of this stuff. I got it. Oh, for sure, this is something that can be used on a regular basis around here, especially. It is not only a compass, but is it a compass with a thermometer on it? And it also has a little like keychain thing on there so you can put it on your bag. What else is in here? Oh, reusable hand warmers. You guys, I get cold hands all the time. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. It's like a little jelly thing. It's soft. It's kind of like one of those Tide Pods. Just kidding. Kids, don't eat Tide Pods. What the heck? Come on. This isn't a Tide Pod, this is a hand warmer. How do I warm it up? It says it provides up to two hours of heat. Heats up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Celsius. When heat runs out, warmer can be rejuvenated with boiling water. Environmentally friendly. Do not microwave. Check. Mm-hmm. It's jelly, it's gonna be warm, it's gonna keep me alive. I told you Lisa and her team knows exactly what geocachers would need. Check this out, it's a Fish Grip Pro. So it's like a magnifying glass, and on the other side of the magnifying glass is a tweezers. Oh cool, attached to it's the LED light, so not only can you tweeze things, but you can see them as well. So this would be really good for a dark area where you need tweezers and you need to see up close. Let's see here. You can not only use it for geocaching, but you can use it to pluck your eyebrows. If you have like a unibrow or something. I see geocaching in your future. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's more things, look at this. A little cash crate pin. People collect these things. So shiny, I'm putting that on my hat right now. Whoa, now you guys can see why I wore a hat today. <laughs> that pin is pure fashion. So another thing you can get is you can get the add-on trackable as well. And this is a really nice one, guys. It's a geocoin. Apparently, it is the year of the dog. And look at this beautiful coin. It is the year of the dog. I'm gonna send this out to the world. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna make it its goal to get a picture somewhere cool in China. All right, I'm gonna go out to the wild right now. I'm gonna use some of this stuff. I mean, if you get tots, tools of the trade sent you in the mail, you should probably use them for geocaching. All right, friends, we are outside. We are out in the field and we are at a culvert geocache. There's a little tunnel back there. Half the tunnel is covered with snow. This is gonna be a tricky one to get to, guys. But I do have some tools from Cache Advance that I can use. All right, my handy dandy compass temperature says it is approximately 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty chilly. Let's get this hand warmer going. There's a metal disc in there. It says I have to bend the metal disc till I hear it click. Here we go, let's bend it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look. It's doing magical things. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Now it's like I could just take a nap out here. There's the culvert I have to go into. It's like covered with snow and filled with ice. I hope that I can find this thing. I also have this, this little light right here to help me see as well.
All right, here we go. I'm sliding in backwards here. Uh, I don't see anything yet. All right, I'm on my belly in here. Um, I'm over. I'm over halfway through. There's two culverts in here. There's one here and there's one on the other side. I'm guessing that this is hopefully the right culvert. Here, I'll slide you with me. <laughs> I don't see anything. <sighs> Well, that was interesting. I looked all through the culvert and I couldn't find it. So I came out the other side and I noticed something interesting on the outside. Do you guys see that? This is poking out. See that little green thing right there? Check this out. Come on. Yes. Oh, you guys, I found it. Oh, I made that one a lot more work than it should have been. So this cache wasn't quite big enough to place the Year of the Dog geocoin. So let's go find a bigger one to do that. I got the ammo can. It was buried in the snow, frozen. I kicked it out. Now this is a premium cache, so pro tip, anytime you're dropping like a really nice trackable or something, if you put it in a premium cache, then it's usually less likely for that geocoin trackable to get stolen. All right guys, thanks so much for joining us for this unboxing and this geocaching adventure. If you're interested in a cache crate, and let me tell you, it's one of the coolest things you can get in the geocaching world. All the information will be in the description below. You can go to cacheadvance.com or you can go to cachecrate.com. If this is the first time watching my videos, click that subscribe box right there. You don't wanna miss any of our adventures as we bring joy to the world, one geocaching video at a time. And as always, thanks for watching.